a post-mortem examination has cleared a high school teacher suspected of beating a student who later died. Kennedy Fundy, a Form 3 orphan student at Kangaroo School, died on March 11. His guardian had claimed that before his death, Fundy linked his deteriorating health to being beaten by a teacher for arriving in class late. But a post-mortem report signed by Daniel Zuriel, a consultant pathologist, dated April 15, 2019, states that Fundy died of respiratory failure due to severe pulmonary infection with tuberculosis. According to the report, excess pus was found in Fundy's chest cavity. The pus had infiltrated his heart and lungs. There was also presence of pus-forming infection within the muscles of the left thigh. These are features of a severe infection, stated the report. The report stated that there was no evidence that trauma was involved in the death, as there were no fractures and no evidence of tissue injury where Fundy is said to have been beaten. There is no evidence that the cause of the death in this young man was due to any other pathology than the above mentioned, concludes the report. Fundy died at the Nairobi Women's Hospital, where he had been referred after his condition deteriorated. He had first been admitted to Mbu Children's Hospital Tenry. The Teachers' Service Commission TSC has since interdicted the teacher and the case is still under investigation. The examination seems to absolve the teacher of blame that he hurt the student leading to illness and death. Fundy was buried on March 25th at his aunt's home in Ryandu village of Imbu County, where he was eulogized as brilliant, obedient, disciplined and hardworking. His schoolmates were not present during the burial, neither was their representative of Kangaroo School. Meanwhile, a Form 4 student was found dead in a school dormitory in Nairi County. The body of the student at Huli Gotti Boys Secondary School in Mathira West Sub-County was found by his classmates on Saturday morning. Mathira West Deputy OCPD of Arlan Musioka said police were yet to establish the cause of the student's death. The body, she said, did not have any injury. She said the student had been scheduled to join a group discussion with his classmates but did not turn up. His classmates thought he had